On July 8, 2022, at 2.47 a.m. local time, a series of volcanic earthquakes began underneath the Tsumura-Dake volcanic complex in Japan. Although this volcano has been the site of a half dozen quake swarms in the last decade, this one was different. Not only was it shallower than most previous swarms, but it was also centered to the east of the Garandake lava dome. Previous swarms had occurred at the other two main domes in the complex, so what is ongoing truly is unusual. As a result, the alert level of this complex was raised from 1 to 2, which translates to a color code of green to yellow only a few hours after the swarm began. This change in alert level carried with it a minimum 1 km exclusion zone around the summits of both Garandaki and Tsumuradake. Although the prospect of an eruption at the moment appears unlikely, the chance of one incurring is heightened with its raised alert level. This complex is very similar to Mount Unzen, as not only is it centered in a highly populated area with similar threats, but the volcano is also referred to as a lava dome complex. At lava dome complex, or plug dome volcanoes, lava with a viscosity similar to peanut butter is erupted out of a vent and is pushed upwards and outwards. The high viscosity prevents the erupted material from collapsing into a thin river of material, resulting in the creation of a typically grey-colored mound of lava. For context, the Tsumuridake or Yufu Tsurumi Volcanic Complex is located on the northeast section of the island of Kyushu in Japan where it is 6 kilometers west of the city of Beppu. This volcano consists of three large lava domes and at least one notable landslide scar. The landslide scar is located on the northern flank of Mount Yutu and formed during a large-scale eruption in 200 BCE when an erupting lava dome collapsed, taking with it part of the mountain. This left behind an up to 40 meter deep ravine in the mountainside. Although this is the only confirmed scar in the volcanic complex, I suspect that there are two additional landslide scars on the two adjacent main domes. My evidence is a combination of the horseshoe-shaped scars in the mountain, but more importantly, a series of small hills to the east of where the collapse would have sent debris. When a significant volcanic collapse occurs, which is fairly common at volcanoes since they are inherently unstable, the landslide often leaves behind a series of small to medium-sized mounds. The scientific term for these mounds is hummocky terrain, and an example of such can be found at the site of Unzen's 1792 collapse and tsunami, which formed a series of small islands. Although the suspected hummocky terrain in the city of Beppu is less pronounced, I suggest this is due to the age of the associated landforms. The Tesuro Madake volcanic complex has been erupting at a low rate for approximately 60,000 years. During this time span, it has been estimated to produce an eruption about once every 1,000 to 1,500 years. This rate is seemingly matched by the three confirmed eruptions at this complex, which have occurred in 200 BCE, 771, and 867. Although it has been more than 1,000 years since the last eruption at this complex, this fact alone does not imply that an eruption is overdue. In the event that the earthquake suddenly got shallower and uplift was detected, it would indicate the movement of magma at depth. Currently, the earthquakes are at a depth of 1 to 4 kilometers, which suggests that the ongoing swarm is primarily hydrothermal. Of course, this carries with it a low but ever-present threat that a phreatic eruption could occur, hence the 1 kilometer exclusion zone. Phreatic eruptions involve groundwater heated by magma flashing to steam and then exploding, producing a volcanic crater. Although it is unknown what will happen next, consider this. In the last 12 months, the alert level has been raised from green to yellow at four other Japanese volcanoes. Yet, not a single one of them erupted, and the vast majority of times a change in alert level or magmatic intrusion does not indicate that an eruption will occur. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank my new patron Andrew Gunnarsson for supporting this channel.